Hello and welcome back to episode 21 of Let's Play Star Ocean until the end of time. We are, we left off just reaching the Ursa Lava Caverns, caves, not caverns. And yeah, that was right where we left off. So I'm going to go search around, see what we got. See if there's a, I don't know, just, just check what's, what's good with this place. And you know the drill by now. There will be a montage of treasure chests. Not in a row, but in the order that it appears. Starting now. Well, actually, starting after this fight. I'll let you see this fight. Which I was just hardly paying attention to at the beginning. You know, just... I don't even know what I was doing aerial over and over again. This dude's got quite a bit of health for being just a normal enemy, I gotta say. I really need to get some good abilities from Maria, because I really hate that aiming device. That shit sucks. Damn. This dude really does have a shit ton of health. Holy Christ. Only 400 XP? Alright, well, we're going to continue on. I am, yeah, roll the montage now. Okay, here is chest number one. Let me give you a tip of advice. Just fucking run from these battles. These enemies take no damage. And it's it's fucking bullshit. This dungeon is fucking bullshit so far. Like they, they don't take any damage, and it takes fucking forever to escape battles too. And they move so quick on the map. It's, it's fucking nuts. This this place sucks dick so far. What's this? A bunny? There's something about those ears. Yeah, they're long. Is this a key? Rabbit key ears. A key with rabbit ears. Okay. All right. We got the the. There's, apparently there's a key there for something. Fuck this. Seriously, this enemy can eat a fucking dick. So fucking fast. It's ridiculous. Alright, here's chest number two. Uh, this one's to the west. The other one was to the east and north in that little dead end you see. Okay, chest number three. Right here. Alright, here is chest number four. This one's pretty much north from where you start. It's locked. Look, there's something written on the door. No monster is allowed. Don't go looking for a spare key by the bunny. Wonder if it's talking about the rabbit ears key. Let's give it a try. Obviously. Cool. Oh, man, I can barely see my hand in front of my face. Guess we'll have to feel our way. What the fuck? Okay, so on this map we got some kind of treasure here. Book of Prophecies 2 obtained. Cool. What is that? Okay. We have found this place, as you can see. This is the map. The All the way to the east is where I found the treasure in that little grove. That little grove sticking, pointing to the west. It's like a finger pointing west. All the way to the east, and then you can see where we're at. There's some kind of um, house here. So in case you're having a pain in the ass getting through this place, you can't turn the camera. Let's talk to this guy and see. Who are you? I am fate. Didn't you see the message not to search for a spare key? I did. Spare key? He probably means the rabbit ears key. Oh yeah, that key. What a dumbass. Well, no matter. Besides, you don't seem to be monsters, so what do you want? First, let's introduce ourselves. I'm fate. This is Maria. These guys were also with us. Hey, I have a name too, you know. I'm Vanilla. Pleased to meet you. We've come to speak with the Mar Marquis, the dragon who lives somewhere in these caves. Speak with... him? Hmm. The entrance to his lair is blocked by volcanic rock. You can't get in. Aren't you in charge of these caves? I have nothing to do with this place. I'm just an uninvited guest. <laughs> bah. I told you this place was a waste of time, fool. I don't remember you saying that. Me neither. Is there any way to remove the volcanic rock? Hmm, well, is there? There's a way, but I'll need a glowstone to make a ring of disintegration. You could use that to remove it. A ring of disintegration. Disintegration refers to a special runological force that makes objects disappear forever. A ring of disintegration is an item with ju just such a power. Anyone can use it. Are you saying you can make us a ring of disintegration for us? Well, I am an inventor. Appearances now notwithstanding. A glowstone. Hmm. Do you know the Aeryglyph Aqueducts? I believe there's one hidden in the ice-covered room there. 
Do you really want a Ring of Disintegration that badly? Yep, we have to speak with the Marquis. That sounds awesome. I hope it's like, oh. When do you need it, bye? Then you'll make one for us? Well, it'll put food on the table. So when do you need it, bye? As soon as possible. How much will you pay me to make it? Um, let's see. Huh, how much should I pay him? I'll give him 10k. Well, that's a fair price, I suppose. It's a deal. Alright then. The entrance to the room where you'll find the glowstone is covered in ice. Use these disintegration bombs to break through, and then bring the glowstone back to me. I'm only giving you 10, so don't go wasting them. Disintegration bomb obtained. Oh, and take this too. Equipping it will give you more experience for beating even weak enemies. Of course, it makes them more challenging too. Gutsy bunny obtained. Thanks. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, so it looks like we're off to the Aeryglyph Caverns. I will meet you there. Okay, we're here in the Aeryglyph Aqueducts. This is pretty much right when you enter. We're going to use this and run like hell. Hopefully that did something. I don't know if I should clear all of it or what. I don't know if that's necessary. I'm, I'm going to save them just in case. I really don't want to have to go all the way back. Alright, we got a chest right here with the glowstone. So we had to come all the way back just for this. Okay, so yeah, we traveled all the way back. That, I mean, the, the back travel in this game is getting a little aggravating because there's a hell of a lot of it, but... We went all that way just for, I guess it wasn't too bad because we were able to stock up on fresh sage and heal at the end, which was needed. So, we got the glowstone, we're gonna head back to the Ursa Lava Caves, and I will meet you back there. Alright, we're back in the Ursa Lava Caves to the little, uh, bunny. I see you brought the glowstone. Alright, wait, just a moment, I'll make the ring for you. Done, here's your ring of disintegration. This is something that really requires more time and money, but since, since both are short are in short supply, I could only make the ring that disintegrates certain things. Time and money are far more important than talent, so it couldn't be helped. Okay, well, I'm gonna read about this and then we'll continue on. Okay, so they were just talking about some kind of chains and stuff, which I have no idea what they were talking about. I thought I did. I thought it meant something like, um, you, when you use the ring to break a wall, if there's another wall within the distance, close and and you break it quick enough uh it'll it'll chain and like repeatedly like that over and over again but you got to do it quickly but then it said something about if you leave the room and re-enter some walls might reappear or some yeah some walls might reappear something around those lines and it and it just pretty much threw me for a loop because i'm not really sure what it meant now like, I guess the chains can just go on forever until you until you get hit by a wall or something. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I guess we'll find out when we play. But yeah, we'll, we're going to continue on and we'll meet you there. Okay, so I'm guessing we use, yeah, we use the Ring of Disintegration right here. Got a chain or something. Whoops, I didn't really want to go in there. So let's see. Oh, got a cutscene. Now that's yeah. just too big. Is that, oh yeah, they talk about the marquee. Oh yeah, they are. Holy shit, that thing does look pretty huge. God damn. Are we standing on two legs? Sure this ain't a god? I can see why they call him the marquee. Impressive. I really hope he'll go along with our proposal. It won't be that easy, fool. What did you call me? I have to agree with El, El Bell. There's no way this thing's... It moved. Obviously, what do you think, it's dead? Or a statue? Who dares disturb my sleep? Oh shit, he can talk. The dragon talks? Another ill-mannered human, I see. Do you believe you are the masters of all creation? Why are you so surprised that other creatures can speak? You act as though you know everything. Ages pass, yet you humans never learn. I really don't think you should be trying to piss this guy off. I'm Nell Zelfer, agent of Aquaria. We've come to request the Marquis' aid, Your Excellency. A maiden 
children of Aquaria. Speak your purpose. Yes, Your Excellency. A great threat is menacing these lands. We need Your Excellency's help to stop it. <laughs> Fucking sucker. I sense the restlessness outside. What would you have me do? We'd like you to bear the runological weapon we developed so that we can deal with this threat. Imbeciles! You would have me bear on my own back something made by human hands. Do not insult me, humans! Oh shit, he's pissed. I'm great and ancient, and you are nothing. How could you think I would acquiesce to such a foolish request? Oh shit. Even so, we cannot leave until you agree. I could not care less. Now, forget it. Turkeys like this need to be smacked around a bit before they'll listen. <laughs> now that's a first. We're both of the same opinion. I agree that humans are nothing special. But I wonder if you are as great as you say you are. Perhaps you need a lesson in humility. These guys are all That's confident. Easy. Is there no way you'll agree to cooperate? None. Well, that settles it. We'll have to force you to listen. You are free to try. Convince me of your worth. And I shall listen to all you have to say. We'll hold you to your word, Your Excellency. It is a promise I shall not have to keep. Alright. Time to either fuck this dude up or get straight fucked by this giant ass. Oh my god, this dude is a fucking ginormous I'm like as big as his toe holy shit he hurts too he just spun in like the slowest circle ever and that hurt I'm not digging this shield you better just fucking stay on full-time healing now I mean Maria I don't need you doing your pitiful aiming device at all just straight heal because this dude is gonna be dishing out some massive damage I can feel it your, your aiming device does no damage. Actually, it does a decent amount of MP. Maybe we can kill him with MP damage first. I don't know how much MP he has. But I'm willing to bet he's got a shit ton of HP. Oh, what the hell? That was pretty easy. I didn't see that coming that easily. Oh, we got a lot of HP, too. Cool, she leveled up. And I got a battle trophy. Cool. Alright. So now he has to come with us. Not bad for mere humans. An even better challenge than that man who subdued Tempest. This shall be the first time in ages I have I've had I have had to really earn my name. What? 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 Again? No. No, 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 no. Heal yourself, Maria. Go ham, go ham. Fuck, man. Heal, heal, Maria. Holy shit. Come on, Maria. Get your heels off. What are you doing? There you go. But heal me and you. Me. Me. I can't move. Yeah, heal me again. Heal yourself, you retard. You're gonna get one shot. Are you are you seriously not gonna? Oh my god, Fist of Fury. It hits a lot, but it doesn't do that much damage. It's only hitting for 71. I'm pretty sure Maria is mentally retarded. She just refuses to heal. Wow, that that ability right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, she's actually, like, actually retarded. Oh my god, did he just use that on himself? No, he didn't. Okay. 
Yeah, I like how she's like actually retarded. That that's kind of cool. I'm just gonna sit back and see if maybe we can, you know, get anybody to res without dying right away. Maybe Maria might decide to heal. Oh me. Okay, I like that. Usually she fucking heals the second she gets alive. But it looks like we're gonna have to bust out like an actual good healing. Perfect berries or magical berries. I think we're gonna go with the perfect berries right here. Maybe Maria will be able to keep us topped off now. Okay. There we go. That was actually pretty tough. It was kind of a tough fight. He got me in a little loop where he was able to keep killing me and rezzing me and killing me and rezzing me. Oh sweet, they both leveled up. Oh, they did get like 5300 XP from that? No, 6300? It's pretty good. Oh shit, we made him fucking fall. On his knees, pretty much. His hands and knees. He's gotta be real pissed. To live 700 years only to suffer at the hands of mere human. I thought he would be like a couple of millennia right? old. Right? But apparently he's only 700. Though it is humiliating to serve your kind, breaking one's word is a despicable act. I have no choice. All right then. You may ride on my back. Small but powerful humans, I shall bear you wherever you desire. Cool, we got the respect of a giant, ginormous dragon. About to ride on his back. Um, what should we call you? Marquis. Call me Crosel. Crosel. Well then, Crosel. Crosel. Oh shit, please tell me he's like my flying mount, like in any other RPG. That would be awesome if he becomes a flying mount, or just instantly teleports me to places, either or works. I'll take either, because I'm getting sick of the backtracking. Alright, oh shit, everybody's about to be so scared when they see a ginormous ass dragon coming in. I'd be running, not just standing there. This dragon is terrifying looking. Get ready at once. Yes, Lady Nell. Really? This may be hard for you, but please bear with us. There is no other choice. That's right, besides, the strong must be magnanimous toward the weak. This young lady speaks the truth. I have returned, Your Majesty. You have done well. To think you were actually able to capture him. No one captured me. I just agreed to help you a bit. Do not misread the situation, foolish king. Hmm. It matters not. So, Ramiria, who shall ride the Marquis? A good question indeed. I was hoping you would lend us the services of someone from the Dragon Brigade. That is unacceptable. Only those who personally requested me, my help, may ride me. Then we must let them decide who will ride. It seems we have no choice. Anyway, the Dragon Brigade is short on men. They are already two tacks trying to form a unit bearing runological weapons. That settles it then. Nell, I, uh, I must ask you and the others to handle this. Yes, your majesty. Alright, we're going to close this episode off early, otherwise it would run about 30-35 minutes. So, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below, and you can finish the rest of this. Most of it's cutscenes. You can see it in the next episode, episode 22. Peace.